What's up, though? We are not new to who we got today. All right. But we're still kind of fresh on his actual music, though. Because I was really into, like, the battle rapping thing. Battle rap is actually entertaining. So. But idea. We have some more idea right here. Idea and abilities. I've been requested to react to powder water. Wait, that say powder water too. What does that say powder water too? Um, what is that? Uh, part one. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, here we go. Please make sure you add that like button if you would like to. And subscribe. If you would like to, I don't know. Forget it. I'm gonna stop saying that. Man. Just forget it. People do it if they want to do it. Let's go though. Idea. These are lyrics too. I know, right? I actually have lyrics. Look at that. I don't even use lyrics so much like this. Um, Bruh. All right. Um. <laughs> I want to get out of this. And click on another one. I don't know if this is the right thing. How long has this been playing? A whole minute? What the heck? Wait, bruh. Wait. Come on, man. You can't do that for a whole minute and then just pop in and start rapping. The heck, I wasn't even expecting that. My head is gonna be filled with cubicle. Oh my land! How many times he say cubicle already? But he was he was saying a lot of legit and real stuff, and it was it actually made a lot of sense, and it was putting stuff together. But good good gracious, that was a lot. Look, a cubicle. On the outside of the cubicle, the understand objectively so we can study further. If I grew up in a cubicle, the walls are in my universe. I have no knowledge of the entirety like the outsiders do. If you follow what I say, you can swallow the powdered water, close your eyes, and open your mind. This one's for you. The brain equals the cubicle. We'll never think outside and not inside. And why not try to tie a diagram and modify it? I'm a man, it's a hybrid of a body, of a pirate, of a soul that can fly without control. Realize there is a hybrid of a body of a pirate. I'm, I'm not looking at the lyrics, Hey, Copenhagen. What is okay? So, what does Copenhagen mean then? I'm gonna look that up because I work at a gas station and we sell Copenhagen um, tobacco. Bruh, a deal would be something to deal with on um, some real stuff. If he was still alive, bruh, he would be sure, a force to be reckoned with in, in, in music. Time makes a map of the territory that gives us the topic of the Copenhagen interpretation of modern quantum physics. We, say, we don't know the meal, we only know the menu that our brain tells us is real. We don't know yeah. the roots of our heads, no from inside these cubicles, we can't see the chance. No one really knows exactly what happens when we think, therefore, we can never really ever know anything. Man, that is so true. 
Like, and the fact of really thinking, like being our brain is a cubicle, can't really go outside of that. Cause we only know what we know. And we, we, we can't know everything. And I think that's what really bothers a lot of people and a lot, well, it just bothers us as humans, not being able to know everything and not being in no, not being able to know things outside of of our brain, like in, in our physical realm or our physicalness and like, like that. Mm -hmm. um, don't think about it, just do it. You know, that's what I that's what I tell myself to. Once I get going with doing it, I'm doing it. <laughs> right. All right. So you probably would have seen me already. We're gonna rap some more. Is that all you're gonna do? Yeah. All right. So if you want to, I like I like this. I'm I'm actually about to replay this from the whole minute mark and listen till it gets to that because it won't really too long. But I wanna I wanna re-listen to it again. Like as like right now, and I would normally do stuff like this off camera afterwards, but I'm gonna do this right now because I want to do this right now. So you can get out and leave the video if you want to. I thank you for being here. Much love to you. I greatly appreciate you. I'm not whacking out, but if you want to whack out, then by all means you can. Thank you for being here and watching the reaction. Uh, anybody that's still here. Thank you for being here still, too. All right, because I'm about to play this again. Let's go. So, we can't really understand beyond what we can see and already understand in our cubicle if i grew up in a cubicle the walls are in my universe grew up in a cubicle the walls are in my universe i have no knowledge of the entirety like the outsiders if you follow what i say yeah. swallow the powdered water close your eyes and open your too. mind this one's for you the brain equals the cubicle will never think outside and not inside and why try to tie a diagram i'm out of fire So that could fly without control. Body of a soul, of, um, something of a body and of a pirate of a soul that could fly without control. Yeah. Without control, realize the brain takes in six billion signals per second, most of which I hit it and I give into the senses with the minute a few things out primitive tools of perception living in a universal pool of first hand deception. The mind's job is to receive the signals and block out the ones that don't coincide with imprinted symbols that Hmm. What was that? I'm really intrigued by this. Sorry. That's why I wanted to do this. Receive the signals. And block out the ones that don't coincide with imprinted symbols. Hmm. The ones that don't coincide with imprinted symbols, that's the way the information you obtain is recognized. Reality is thinkable, incomparable to space and time. It makes a map of the territory that gives us the topic of the Copenhagen interpretation of mind. We don't know that part. We don't know the meal. We only know the menu that our brain tells us is real. We don't know the rules of our heads. So from inside these chemicals, we can't see the chance. No one really knows exactly what happens when we think. Therefore, we can never really ever know anything. 
so uh, This is the consciousness. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Man. Bruh, I did. Shoot, bruh. He was a really deep thinker. I mean, it's shoot, him freestyling, he just played with words, and, and he's actually putting words together. This was a whole lot to, to have the grabs to it. This was a lot to get. I mean, in the perspective that he was putting it and trying to put it into where you, like, it's really deep and a lot to think about. I don't know if I'm overthinking it, but if not, and somebody else can relate and understand what I'm saying. Thank you. You made me not feel alone. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Yes. Idea. You really. Idea got the first, first, second listen. Like twice. Listen twice. I don't even know how the heck I'm going to say that. I sound so stupid speaking right now. Um, Idea was the first person to get a song. First played twice on a video well it's love to you idea much respect to you idea rest in hip hop to idea if you are still here I know that you you are maybe a real idea fan not a big fan of me but idea at least and I, I thank you for being another one uh, so rest in hip hop to idea R I H or R I H H I don't know but yes this is your boy Mr. Wag <laughs> wake up. Congratulations, you won.